Hi there, this is of course a great and glorious soon to be famous one day Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again one more time. And I'm going to relate to you one of my interesting, curious, strange experiences in just a moment. But just before I do, I just thought I'd mention that I'm rather blown over by the number of videos on YouTube about how to make tea and coffee. Now, sure, once in a while you might want to refine your art and do a bit of extra research into the right temperature for the right type of tea, for instance, the right quantity of water or maybe the right weight or volume of tea or coffee that you might need to put into your infusion. So a bit of information out there could be very useful. But if you just do it, I mean, just as an experiment, just do a search on the internet for how to make tea. And I get the feeling you're going to be quite um, surprised at the pure volume of videos. Some of them going back many months and years purely about how to make tea. And now, just out of curiosity, if you didn't actually know how to make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea prior to coming onto YouTube, do let me know in the comment section. Just out of curiosity. Because... Refining your art, one thing. Finding out about the Chinese or Japanese tea ceremony, another. Or the history, yeah, fine, fine. But just, I mean... Yes, I make my tea occasionally, my real loose-leaf green teas, in what is traditionally called the French press, which we call the cafetiere in Britain. You know, it's the... Or coffee press, you know? Because it's a convenient way of filtering out the tea. But if you just type how to make a cup, a cup of tea in the French press in the search box on YouTube, you will get loads of videos all saying precisely the same thing <laughs> in very slightly different ways. Which I think is actually slightly mad, but never mind. Anyway. On to my, uh, the story of my strange experience, which I'd like to relate to you, and hopefully I'll have enough time before the phone rings to be able to tell you the full story. This one happened just two nights ago. And it was a time when I was not sleeping. I've had a rather long bout of insomnia going on and off for a couple of months now. Because whenever I get a cold, or it's, you know, winter time comes, I get a cold, I get an infection, my sleep patterns just tend to go. And this one particular night, I was trying to get to sleep. I was really struggling, so I thought I'd do some meditation. So I used a mantra, which I'm not going to tell you at this one particular stage. And during this mantra, I felt a very strange presence in the room. Now, it was obviously, you know, late at night, stroke, small hours. So the likelihood of there being some kind of, like, um, self-delusion going on because I was on the edges of sleep but not quite there is still quite high. But on the other hand, this one felt a little different somehow. I felt this, the feeling of this presence moving around the room towards the side of my bed and ending up behind me. And I felt a weight appearing on my arm. Now, I felt this before with the Angel of Death experience, which I've related to you many, 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 many videos ago. And I felt that the experience felt very similar, that the energy or personality or feeling of that particular apparently spiritual being was very different this time around it felt i would say more gentle more loving maybe it felt uh, as if it was there to try and help me into a state of sleep and i could feel from this i mean this feeling on my arm felt just like a human hand i could feel you know all of the fingers of a hand splayed out on my arm i could feel the weights i could feel warmth i could feel a strange tingling sensation and I felt this uh, electrical feeling coming from this feeling of a hand, which seemed to pass right into my body. My mood at that point automatically changed, and I suddenly felt very clear-minded and much more relaxed, and my mood was elevated and I could feel more comfortable. And that was the point when I felt I could actually properly start to get to sleep. The dream I had that night did involve a particular character or energy, someone who or something whose features were somewhat uh, undistinct. But it was involving me holding a conversation with this apparent being or entity uh, within the dream world. 
and it seemed to be trying to express possibly through some form of um, symbolic structure a little bit more about the ideas related to consciousness around the world or around the universe outside of the physical world obviously this could be just pure dream or pure dream delusion but it certainly was rather curious and slightly out of the sphere of the norm so I just thought I'd tell you the experience thank you